It's like a good time to like uh, see where I'm at and see the shape and what needs to be done until next season and the next races. So it's going to be very interesting to see the the results of this U2 Max test. But also it's super cool that Dimitri can have this equipment and uh, yeah, just. Super, super helpful. So, really appreciate it that you can help me out with this. Super cool. The protocol is to start at 10% and seven and a half kilometers an hour, and then work ourselves up. Uh, with the increasing the pace uh, every three minutes, one kilometers an hour, until reaching threshold pace. And when I reach threshold pace, I will uh, have a five minute break and then start again at threshold pace and then increase the speed with uh, 0 .0, 0 0.4 kilometers an hour every minute until reach VU2 max and until I can't do no more. So, yeah, it will be very, very, very hard. now <laughs> more <laughs> Thank you. 
Good. Okay, mask. Is it good? Yes. No, 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 in one minute. Good. Now is is not correct. That was hard. But it felt good actually. Super oh. 92. <laughs> oh. Super. 7 plus 5. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, not that much, uh, in two minutes will be a little bit more. Okay, good. Yes. Pulse was 200. 200? I yeah. think yes. <laughs> yeah. I have very high pulse and it doesn't. I have had 200 since I was like 18. Mm -hmm. It haven't come down. Cool. So, oh my god. Machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you for letting me test this. This was super cool. It was a very good test, I think. Uh, I feel like I have recovered well from the race and obviously on the result I'm like in good shape and the training the last years have been paying off uh, physically but I feel like I'm in, have found a good routine and it's so cool to have this equipment like uh, close and when you are traveling and stuff so it's super cool to be able to test this when uh, out on training camps so I really appreciate to do this, do this test and to see uh, where I'm at at the moment and then just build forward I guess from this nice It was very interesting results from the test uh, that we did on the treadmill with the VO2 max uh, uh, mask and I think it was really interesting results uh, to not only to compare from previous uh, tests I've done but also to see something new to see how much fat and carbohydrates I am uh, uh, burning dur during a session and during different intensities so uh, looking into that I, find, I think it would be really interesting to moving forward to see what intensities I will uh, use during longer races uh, and especially for races like UTMB last next year and uh, uh, yeah to really see how much I need to fuel uh, during the race and with what so that would be re really useful in the training coming forward um, for next year and to use this data for um, uh, to know what um, what and how to fuel for longer races and especially for UTMB next year to know how much carbohydrates and stuff like that to consume during the race uh, and then also my threshold pace and uh, heart rate etc so that I can standardize that and to uh, find my own pace to improve and then also it's been very interesting to see that the training I've been doing has uh, uh, had a good impact on my VU2 max uh, and that I've increased a lot in my um, uh, physical capacity which is super fun and inspiring in the moving forward so cool to be able to do this kind of test <laughs> in uh, just uh, by ourselves and not in a lab and still have some very valid and good results I think so yeah very cool and very interesting for sure <laughs>